New now to the respiratory illness plaguing several children around the country and in the metro. Doctors say you need to take this cold and flu season seriously. Joey Safchek joins us live with their advice. Joey. Bill, doctors say the way we used to think about viral seasons might be outdated now. This pretty severe influx in RSV cases is cropping up earlier than it has in years past, and it's hard to predict how long it will last. Healthcare workers across the metro and even in rural Nebraska say they're treating not just more cases of RSV, but more severe cases. The illness is especially dangerous in infants under six months old. Their breathing and eating can be affected, and it's important to be on the lookout for those symptoms. Doctors speculate that the pandemic has changed immunoresponses in kids and babies, making it even more pressing to look for anything out of the ordinary. As physicians, healthcare providers, um, we're just learning that maybe viruses don't have the same kind of seasonality that we thought previously. It's all just a totally new game. And what's really tough about viruses is that they mutate. RSV is tricky. It's a virus, so it can't be treated with antibiotics. Preventing it in the first place is really important, according to these doctors. Hand washing, healthy eating, and healthy sleeping can all help. Join us at 5 o'clock to hear from one of Omaha's top infectious disease experts about how to handle what he calls competing viruses. Bill? Important information, Joey. Thank you. Nationally, the number of children in the hospital is at nearly a three-year high. Health and Human Services says roughly 75% of pediatric hospital beds in the U.S. are filled. Compare that to about 67% on an average day during the pandemic. At last check in the metro, pediatric ICU beds were 88% full. Doctors say they are few, seeing fewer children with COVID, but more cases of RSV.